Hi everyone, it's Nicole and I'm here with the 19th layout using the July hip kit. This one took me about an hour and four minutes to complete. I'm down to, I think, a couple of sheets of pattern papers, a few embellishments. Uh, like I said in the last video, I had noticed that, you know, I had those cork embellishments almost, you know, taken out almost every single layout and I just didn't use them. So I used three on the last layout. I want to use three on this layout and I think three on the next maybe or a couple on the next and at least I used a lot of them before you know I put the kit away. I managed to get 20 layouts so I have one more layout to share with you and so I'll be done the July hip kit. I started the August hip kit and then um, I won't be doing as many layouts with the August hip kit because I'm a little bit behind and now I'm just going to be uh, putting up one layout a week for for the hip kit club and uh, so my next schedule is starting on October 1st and so I'll be um, telling you you know what's going to be on every day um, well every day that I upload something what it's going to be uh, all the different things that I'm going to be uploading and I'll be sharing that really soon um, but for now this layout I had when I looked at the embellishments, there was the daily flash, that little flare that was in green. From the summertime, October afternoon, the pillow puffs that they call them, I had a couple of puffy stickers that were in green, or three of them, including the flower that had a pink flower and green, green leaves. I had strawberries, but it didn't really go with this layout, so I, I wanted to do something to use the green elements that were in this kit and there was no green pattern paper so I went to my stash and this I got at Winners I think or something like that and I ended up paying $3.99 for a 6x6 and it's from American Craft hashtag summer and I looked in there and there was some green papers and it was the exact tones of all these embellishments that I want to use so I used them for this layout and uh, once in a while, I like to use just an eight and a half by 11 cardstock right on, just on top of uh, pattern paper. It really breaks it up and then you can sort of build your clusters within that eight and a half by 11, whether you do um, a grid layout like I'm doing this time or you do something different. But I find that it pushes the background. It pushes it back. It's basically like my white gesso is what I'm doing, except I'm not gonna do any uh, mixed media on this layout. I'm just going to use play with pattern paper. So now I'm just looking at the pattern paper, what I have left uh, within the kit and you know what I can use. The pattern paper that I'm going to use for the background is from Fancy Pants and it's that bright pink pattern paper with the white flowers which I really like but I just didn't know how I was going to use it as a whole. I liked it you know for mounting photos and stuff like that but by putting it at eight and a half by eleven right on top of it it really sort of tones down that pattern paper and then I really liked it. I'm going to end up pulling out a couple of Project Life cards that came in the Project Life add-on. Uh, the one to the right of the photos is this makes life perfect and the other one is says play all day which eh, was it really playing all day but we did have a good day. Uh, moving her into her new apartment. So this was is actually pictures of her new apartment. They're not that great pictures because of course that morning in the rush of leaving and everything I left my DSLR at home. So all I had was my iPhone and it's a basement apartment so it was a little dark. So the pictures you know they're not perfect. I could have tried to you know tweak the pictures with Adobe Photoshop or you know whatever to try to make them a little better but most of the time I just print the pictures the way they are and I just use them that way and I ended up putting two pictures on one photo through PicFrame and um, my PicFrame app and then I printed it on my Canon selfie. I have to tell you there is something that I just sort of became a member I guess or I um, you can use it for free if uh, you just go on there but you get way more options 
if uh, you pay for the membership and it's called pick monkey and it's been around for a while and uh, I just really liked it and for a year membership it was $33 you could pay $5 a month or $33 and I just paid 33 so it's like three bucks a month and there is so many options to play with your photos so I'm going to be using that I have Adobe and I just I find it so complicated and I found pick monkey and um, for my YouTube channel for my um, my blog I can use pick monkey for all of that and then it's so easy everything is so easy so I just decided to do that and it was it was fairly cheap so um, I'll probably and you can you can um, tweak your photos on there too so I'll probably be playing with that because it's so much easier than Adobe so uh, so you know if um, I just got it so I haven't had a chance to play with it too too much my husband probably um, played with it a little bit more than I did but I did use it a little bit and I really liked it so I'll let you know more once I um, get to play with it a little bit more so I cut down the the pattern papers uh, one I left in the full six by six and then I just cut the other uh, sheets down to fit on the eight and a half by eleven I took a marker and I just outlined the edges and it just kind of made it so that it kind of brought in the whole pattern paper together I just noticed I didn't outline the full sheets of 12 by 12 and I think it's because it's so busy I didn't even notice that it wasn't outlined so I could have outlined the um, pattern paper also but I didn't do that I'm going to use a project life and that's where I'm going to do some of the journaling and then I'm going to cut down that pattern paper to about 11 and 3 quarters by 11 and 3 quarters and I'm going to mount the whole thing on white cardstock and I'm going to outline the project life card too and you know I'm already starting to glue everything down and this page there's not much to it it took me over an hour and I think it's because I was trying to use more embellishments than I ended up using but after a while I was like nope I like it with just you know sort of the bare minimum of embellishments that I put on and I just like it the way it is now this card here I'm trying to figure out you know where I'm going to put it I'm going to end up putting it underneath the photo at one point I think I even glue it down and then I'm going to end up ripping it off because I want to cut a, I forgot to cut it a piece off of it so that I could use it somewhere else I'm using the Avery L ink that we got in a previous kit and the color is raspberry and I just ink the edges and then I ended up when I cut down that uh, project life card I ended up with that little piece there that you see to the bottom of the screen of project life and I'm going to end up using it um, and I'll probably stamp the date there right there and it just it just made it that I was able to put an embellishment cluster there and it just grounded everything and I like to use either pattern paper or uh, an embellishment that I cut out of a pattern paper or a punched out circle and this time I just use a project life card and now I'm looking at um, the cork stickers and seeing what I might you know like to use and this is where I glue down the picture and then when I get a little further I'm like oh I wish I would have had a piece of that pink card the project life card to use it somewhere else now I ink the edges with the pink on that card and I really didn't like it so then I'm going to go to my stash and I get my black soot from Tim Holtz and I just ink the edges and I like that better I found it coordinated better with the uh, lines around the pattern paper that I outline the pattern paper than just the pink the pink I don't know I just didn't like it and I'm going to put that flare button up there up there that says I love this and now I'm just trying to figure out where I'm going to put the rest of the puffy stickers like I said there was a few that were in the green there was one that said adventure and the other one said oh happy day and then there's a little flower one of the cork um, stickers said lovely little life and I thought it was really appropriate for you know her newer her new apartment and her starting a new path in her life 
and um, so it was just funny because those cork stickers I could not make them work like on any other layout I just couldn't get them to work and then all of a sudden this happened and within a, just a couple of weeks you know she's moving away and getting a new apartment so then the the house cork sticker worked perfectly and the lovely little white wife <laughs> lovely little life and um then i was able to use the cork camera and then i'm going to use the cork heart so it it just sort of happened that all these things really kind of happened and then i was able to use these so but it was a, a good happy coincidence and I got to use some of the kit now under that project life card under the arrow that's where I'm going to put the title and uh, so I'm going to fuss around a little bit with some more of the embellishments um, like I you know if you've been watching me for a while you know that before I put a kit away as I get to the end of the kit um, what sort of decides how the page is going to go is the embellishments and the pattern papers that is left that kind of guides me on how the page is going to look i knew i didn't want to cut down this pattern paper because i didn't want to end up with scraps <laughs> you know i'm at page 19 i feel like i've gotten my money's worth using this kit so i don't want to add you know more scraps into my layout so I was okay with using a full background and I used a lot of white cardstock with this kit and that's probably how I managed to get so many layouts done with this but um, what I was saying was by looking at what I have left it kind of decides where the layout's going to go sort of the design because I looked at my embellishments and I said, okay, I need to use some of these corks and I knew I need to use some of these green embellishments. I went into my stash. I looked for some green papers and then the layout kind of went together. And I find that happens all the time when I get to an end of a kit. I look and go, oh my goodness, I barely touch these embellishments at all or I have way too many that I want to you know just kind of stick into my stash I want to try and use more and then I start playing with that embellishment or that pattern paper and the kit kind of come or the page kind of comes to life so this is where I decide yeah I think you know to that project life card I'd like to something to sort of ground where that flare is going to go so I cut a piece of that project life card put it underneath that other project life where I'm going to put my title and then I put the flare and then it looks like it belongs more and then I'm going to put the title and it's not really original it's just new apartment and I'm going to use the gray stickers that are from the daily flash collection and that came in one of the kits and that's pretty much going to be all the layout and um so this was fun to make um it took me a little over an hour and like i said i think it's because i was trying to use uh, more embellishments i was trying to add more than it sort of needed once i got all this down i was like yep yeah. i don't even end up adding any mist or anything like that it's just really a cut dry simple layout just clean design and i call her done and then I'm just going to put um, in the journaling, I'm going to put um, how long it took for her to find the apartment. Um, and that's why I didn't want to do it on video. I'm going to put the address where she lived because, I mean, years from now, that'll be interesting to know how much she's paying per month and uh, what it includes and in, in stuff like that. So that's going to be sort of fun facts to sort of have written down and uh you know 20 years from now when she looks at this she can say oh my goodness i was paying you know 6.95 a month for rent and everything was included and uh, except for cable i think she does her cable is not included but her heat and lights and and all that's included and nowadays young kids right they don't they don't get a landline they all have cell phones and i don't blame them 
Um, I want to cancel my landline. <laughs> the, the only reason that we kept it is because they in included it in our package. And I was like, okay, if it's only 10 or 15 bucks for my landline, I'll keep it. But I, I want to cancel it because we never use it. We use our cell phones. Um, but that's it. I'm going to trim down that pattern paper. I found that when I looked at it, I figured that with a white border around it, it was going to sort of finish it off. And when I cut it down and mounted it on the white cardstock, I really liked it. It was like a frame around it. And it's kind of sad because the other side of that pattern paper, I really liked it. But I don't think I used it at all, this kit. Which I think actually what I did was I used the one of the pink strips. I used it on my last layout for a little quarter inch border. I think that's the only thing I used on the other side. But I mean, those things happen. And that's it. Here are some close ups of all the embellishment clusters. And I just want to thank you for joining me today. And um, if you're enjoying these videos, if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up just to let YouTube know. So thanks for watching. Bye.